respected teacher and my dear friend first of all i say very great morning to all of you very great morning binu myself binu from proud 9d standard today i am here to deliver a speech on the topic of lines angles and triangles firstly i will tell you about line line it cannot be drawn on a paper and it has no end point we can represent it only on a paper now about line segment line segment has two end points line segment has two end points and it can be drawn on a paper now about ray ray has one end point and it also cannot be drawn on a paper now about angles when two rays meet at a point they form an angle there are seven types of angle first one is zero degree angle when an zero degree angle angle whose measurement is exact zero degree is called zero degree angle second one is acute angle angle whose measurement is more than 0 degree but less than 90 degree is called acute angle and third one is right angle an angle whose measurement is 90 degree is called right angle now fourth one is obtuse angle an angle whose measurement is more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is called obtuse angle now fifth one is straight angle an angle whose measurement is exact 180 degree is called straight angle Now sixth one is reflex angle an angle whose measurement is more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree is called reflex angle now seventh one is complete angle an angle whose measurement is exact 360 degree is called complete angle now about triangles triangles a polygon bounded by three line segment is called triangle there are three types of triangle on the basis of side First one is scalar triangle a triangle in which not any side is equal is called scalar triangle now second one is isosceles triangle a triangle in which two sides are equal is called isosceles triangle now third one is equilateral triangle a triangle in which all sides are equal is called equilateral triangle now about three types of angle on there now about three types of triangle on the basis of angles first one is acute angle triangle a angle in which a triangle in which all three angles are less than 90 degree is called acute angle triangle now second one is right angle triangle a triangle in which one angle measurement is 90 degree and other two are less than 90 degree is called right angle triangle now about third tri triangle a third triangle is obtuse angle triangle in which one angle measurement is more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is called obtuse angle now about now about tri Now I will tell you about complementary and supplementary angle. Complementary angles uh, in which the sum of two angles is 90 degree is called complementary angle. Now supplementary angles and uh, in which the sum of two angle is 180 degree is called supplementary angle. Now I will tell you about congruency. A triangle is said to be congruent if its all sides and angles are equal. Now I will give you example of our daily life. If a bricklayer is making a wall, he uses same size of uh, bricks to provide strength to the wall so this is an example of our daily life congruency now there are some properties of congruency for sas ss rhs and asa ss side side and side now rhs right hypotenuse side asa angle side angle this is all from my side thank you and have a nice day